Hello everyone, Mark is ready to read Matthew chapter 19, and um, so I'll turn it over to him here so we can read, see if I can get it right. Okay, Mark. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished his sayings, he departed from Galilee and came to the coast of Judea beyond Jordan. Great multitudes followed him to heal him there. Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him, and saying unto him, Law for a man to put his way for every cause. And answered unto them, Have you not read that which that he which made them in the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave his wife, and the twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore there are no more twain but one flesh, what therefore God hath sworn together, let no man put asunder. They say unto him, Why did Moses command to give a writing of the divorcement to put her away? He saith unto them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, Suffer you to put away your wives, but for gain it was not so. I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, instead of fornication, shall marry another, commit adultery. Whosoever mar marrieth her, which is put away, to commit adultery. So I will say unto him, if the case the man be so, his wife is not good to marry. He said unto them, all men cannot receive the same, save they to whom it is given. There are some eunuchs which were so born from the mother's womb. There are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men. The eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He is able to receive it, let him receive it. For there brought unto him a little children, and he should put his hands on them, pray, sigh, and rebuke them. And Jesus says, several little children, forbid them not to come unto me for of such the kingdom of heaven. He laid his hand on them and parted thence, and behold, one came, said to him, Good master, what things shall I do that I may have eternal life? He said to him, Why callest thou me good? There is none. The one that is God, that thou wilt earn the life, keep the commandments. He saith unto them, Which Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear full witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The young man who saith unto him, All these things have I kept from my youth that what like I yet. He said unto him, Thou wilt be poor and perfect, go and sell that thou hast. Give the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. When the young man heard that saying, he went away, sorrow over in great possessions. Then Jesus said, Jesus, he said Jesus to the disciples, Verily I say unto you that rich man shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for Cam to go through the eye of a needle, for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly glad, except, saying, except who they can be saved. So Jesus beheld them and said to them, Men, this is impossible with God, all things are possible. They answered Peter and said to him, Behold, we have forsaken all. Follow thee, what shall we have? Which therefore, to send him, very last, saying to you that we, he would shall follow me. In addition, with the son of man shall sit in the throne of most glory, shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. One that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake. See it unfold and show her everlasting life. And then our first shall be called last and first. Thank you, Mark. I tried to not mess it up this time.